you clicked on this video to see how spindle's done. Here's what the spindle looks like, all tacked together. So let's get straight into this on how to do this. So on the kit, this is a Zona Motorsports kit, as you can see. You need to make sure you have all these, all the Himes Unibals. They're gonna give you a block like this, one of these plates. Make sure you have this flipped the right way because if you don't, I just had to cut this all back apart. This plate only goes one way. They can line this hole up with this, with this plate. So if it's the wrong way, those won't line up. First step, you're gonna wanna get your cup, these side plates, clean off all the, the laser edge on the side with the flap disc and they just lock. Pretty self-explanatory, but uh, they lock in just like that. And then that, and that lines up with your spindle right there. Same with the other plate. So what you want to do is just tack it down uh, down right there, and then um, tack it tack it once up here. Okay, so you're gonna want to get this plate. I like to tack it right here. You can always grind that back off, but I tack it there because when you tack it here, you can't fucking you can't move these to adjust for this. So once the make sure that's square. You see how there's no gap right there. If there's a gap this arm is gonna be up and your uniball is gonna be all turned. So you want that straight. Make sure your uniball fits in there. And as you can see, there's no tacks here. I did tack the inside right there just so that didn't move. But now I'm gonna tack the other side right here on the inside. Tack here, here, and here. Same on this side. And then we're gonna throw this cover plate on. All these tacks are on, tack there, tack there. This cover plate's tacked on. I just have a couple right now. You're gonna wanna add a couple more. And just bent this plate back, set the uniball in there, make sure it fits. And yeah. So after this step, you're gonna wanna get your, your other cover plate. This goes on the rear. Oh, that's a uniball. <clears throat> wanna get your other cover plate for the rear. This one just sits in there like that. So I'll show you that after it's all tacked up. The cover plate is all on. When you put this cover plate on, it should fit up nice up here and you shouldn't have to do nothing to seat the plate on. It's gonna be an open corner, open corner weld. So down here, it's gonna fall in. So throw, as you can see right here, there's a little little notch. Throw, throw like a, tack it like three times. Get a good like, tack on there and I did another one right here I don't know if you can see it hey you see that tack so there's, yeah there's a tack there and a tack up here so the plate can sit flush so you get that nice open corner weld it's gonna be a little smaller gap on that side but all that's tacked up whole spindle is that's also what I did here previously that's why those heat marks are there so the spindle is basically done. You, if you're looking in your kit, you're probably like, why do I sell up all these pieces? So, this plate, you have this, this plate, this plate, and, and these two plates. So, this, this one will go in next. And this one should go in just like this. This one should go in just like that. So we're gonna throw our, our uniball up in there with the bolt and get this all straight and I'll show you how it is. This is how it's all gonna be assembled. You're gonna want your uniball in here while you tack it because you're gonna want that right spacing and your misalignment spacers. And you're gonna wanna get one of these. This is like a shock shim, same thing. This, I think this one's a 0 0.19. I think a 0 0.10 is good too, 0 0.12. And this is just sitting, as you can see, it's just sitting right above there. Just so when you weld it, if it moves a little, you'll have a nice fitment in there. So this is all in there. So you can see the plate's all flush in there. Nothing's tacked yet, so. You just want to go and 
tack it a couple times in here. I think you can only get to the bottom, tack it in here, and take this out, and then tack it a couple more times. And, and then we'll move on to this part. Once you have all this tacked up, you want to throw a couple more back there. You just want to have a good amount of tacks because you don't want to weld this and have some shit start to warp. So the reason we threw that little shock uh, shim in there is because when we throw this kit together, we're going to want to just be able to slide this onto the lower arm real nice, just like that. See, there's a little bit of play up in there, but that's better than having it too tight and having to expand these plates. So we're going to get onto this cover plate for your spindle and your tie rod, which is kind of confusing. That was the hardest part for me on the first one. We're going to get onto that plate right there. So, yeah. You don't want to tack this on this side. It doesn't really matter how you tack it. Like this is not straight, but the reason that doesn't matter, you just want to have two little tacks because when you throw, oh fuck, I forgot to throw this in. Okay, so this plate right here, this just slides down in here. Oh no. I put a tack in the way. Yeah, so you don't want to tack it right there, I guess. Damn, that sucks. Damn, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but show you how it should look. It's like that with an open corner. So, but this, <clears throat> this, this plate will sit like this. I'm, I'll just show you when I do it. So you're gonna want, so you're gonna want your hymen here with your shim, just so you have that little clearance. Tighten this up. You're gonna wanna put this plate in first, tighten it up, don't even have this plate on there. And then lock, lock those two things in and get your gap how you want it and then tack it there and there. And as you can see, there's a huge gap right here, right? That's why we left our two little tacks here. So we're just gonna hit this. Gonna hit this right here and push it in. And here, a bull spindle's done. This is the one I showed you how to do. This is the one I did earlier. As you can see, everything's in there, all tacked up. And just make sure it's tacked real well, so when you fully weld it, it'll all be good. I'm just tacking all this right now. I'm gonna tack every part and then fully weld them all together. But yeah, in the next video, we'll be welding up the upper control arms, which are right here. So if you guys are interested in that, go subscribe so you get a notification when those control arms are getting welded. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.